What's up fellow Switch Bargain Hunters, I hope you're doing well. I'm James Amera here at Switchwatch and I've got you covered. Every week I'm scouring through the UK, EU and US eShops to help you find the deals that are worth your hard earned cash. Now before we jump in and take a look at this week's bargains, I just want to say a quick thank you to Hypercharge Unboxed. This video is brought to you by those guys and if you've not tried this amazing miniature world first person shooter, then you're missing out. But there is a demo that you can download and try before you buy. Those developers over there are always adding new content to the game and recently they've included Major Update 3 which brings a whole host of new features for you to sink your teeth into. Now, let's take a look at this week's bargains. My pick of the week this week is the Fantastic Double Cross. This is an action adventure platformer that has shades of Sonic and Mega Man thrown in. This takes place at Rift Headquarters, an interdimensional police force, think Men in Black. The story is one big whodunit full of bonkers aliens from different galaxies, including my favourite, a bodybuilder, Brussels sprout dude, yes, it's the muscles from Brussels. You play as Zara Sinclair and controlling her is nice and tight. She jumps around using a nifty proton singer and I love that this game is set across three worlds. Each feels unique and the look and sound of this one is spot on. Juan, Jordan, what are your picks this week? Yo, 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 how you guys doing? Now this week I'm gonna go for some gunslinging action, a game I've been wanting to try for a while, Call of Juarez Gunslinger. Now this may be an old ass port, but you guys know I'm a fan of old ass ports. I think this was originally slightly overpriced at launch, but now there's a great sale going on. 50% off, just 9.99 in euros and US dollars and £8.99 in the UK. That is a very solid price for a highly rated first person shooter with supposedly decent storytelling. I'm definitely down for this price. Are you? Thank you very much indeed, James. This week I've gone for a sports game called Galathor Football League with 73% off on all regions. This is an absolute bargain. If you want a game that's going to take you back to those arcade games of the 90s, then this one is definitely going to be for you. A nice, simple football game that you can play at home with up to four players in local multiplayer. There's an international cup mode and league. 52 national teams and actually has 28 hand-drawn managers and look the football's not bad either you know it's not going to compete with some of the best football games out there but you know what do you expect for the price of a coffee especially here in the uk i think this is definitely one worth to pick up if you just want to have a nice simple game of arcade football thanks very much everyone see you next time Lovely picks there, guys. Now, next up for me, it's the Gardens Between. At face value, you'd be forgiven for thinking that this is a simple point-and-click visual novel type of game, but there's a whole lot more to it. Whilst the gameplay appears simple, there is surprising depth. The premise is that you solve a series of puzzles, bending time to find the right solution for the protagonist's friend and Ariana. What's more, each little island in which puzzles takes place look gorgeous, and this unique adventure is definitely one worth experiencing. For the King is a fascinating game that blends strategy, RPG games, classic tabletop gameplay and roguelike elements that take you back to the 90s with its heavy RNG dice rolling mechanics. The graphics are cartoon like and quaint. It's enjoyable both as a solo story or as a co-op experience. Either way, it's great. Now, it's not often that a rhythm based game takes something and makes it unique. But that's exactly what Crypt of the Necrodancer has done to fantastic effect. It turns out that combining beats and dungeon crawling results in a brilliant and exciting game. The tunes are spot on and the gameplay is no slouch. The developers followed this up with Cadence of Hyrule, essentially the same gameplay with characters from Zelda. Although that is a blast to play, having the original for just £3.59 makes this a real bargain right now. Next up, I'm taking a trip down memory lane, all the way back to 1995, in fact, when the original Dragon Riding series first came out on the Sega Saturn. This is a Dragon Riding shoot 'em up and fast forward and this arcade style classic has been remade with 3D graphics, reimagined stages and the option of a new control scheme. It's brilliant to see the little details from the original are recreated and gaps are filled in with the new horsepower. As an arcade style game, it's not actually a very long game, but if you play it like imagined without lots of lives, it will take you a while to conquer. 
Hyper Parasite is a twin stick roguelike. Now this game offers something different. An alien parasite has invaded Earth and you play as that alien parasite. You're taking on humanity's defenses and whilst in the original parasite form you are weak and so you need to patiently infect and take over hosts which you can unlock for future runs. It's tough at first until you get strong enough at which point things become a lot more fun. The graphics and audio are nothing to write home about but this is a nice twist on the genre. If you can't get enough of the Cyberpunk style then check out our roundup of Cyberpunk games available on the Switch. Velocity 2X is a fast paced action game that's all about being in the zone. This one has twitch sensitive controls and everything is about speed. You need fast reactions and twitch reflexes to succeed here. Everything about this game is spot on. The campaign has no fluffy filler and speedrunners will love trying to beat that score arcade style. A wonderful game at a really brilliant price point. In the swindle, the ultimate heist is going down in 100 days and you have the next 99 days to prepare and get ready. You're going to need to burgle your way to better items, more cash and everything you will need to succeed, assuming that you make it. This stealth sim has you sneaking around its steampunk world and uses an interesting mix of leveling up and permanent enhancements to keep things fresh. Beware though, it is difficult. You can tackle each level in various ways, but you're definitely going to fail along the way and die and perhaps like me, throw your switch across the room. Hue is a vibrant award-winning game where you control the world by changing the color of the backgrounds. The key mechanic is cool and easy enough to understand with the right mix of added complexity as you delve deeper. The platforming elements combine well with the puzzle for a game that's challenging but not ridiculously so. I reviewed this one when it first came out and enjoyed it. It's a shortish experience that you'll play in shelve which makes this 80% off worth picking up. The King's Bird is a platformer with a focus on precision, accuracy and pace. These things are all needed in order to succeed. There are some nice mechanics. You have the ability to glide and wall jump and we'll need to time them just right in order to get that crucial win. The visuals are really nice and the soundtrack is decent as well. It's a crowded genre at the original price. It's tough to recommend over other titles, but with 75% off, it's worth dipping into if you fancy a tricky platformer with some different mechanics. If you've always dreamt of being a pilot like me, then you need a flight simulator and Bomber Crew has you covered. This is a great little flight simulator which is going to put your multitasking skills to the absolute test. You can customize your plane and manage everything from hydraulics, fuel and ammo, but to name a few. Once in the skies, danger is everywhere and it's up to you to make sure your crew is prepared so they can survive and excel in each mission. In Despotism 3K, humanity is enslaved by an AI and the twist is that you are that AI. In this game, you exploit puny little humans to extract power and build your own empire. You have to keep track of them to make sure they don't succumb to exhaustion and hunger, those fragile little things, although the weakest ones can always be thrown into the bio reactor. In other words, this is a resource management game with roguelike elements, dramatic plot and an abundance of pop culture references. In Manual Samuel, the aforementioned character gets a concussion and strikes a deal with death. Survive 24 hours with an impediment of your choosing and you will survive, but fail and death will take your puny soul for himself. The catch is, if you lose all of your normal automatic faculties, each limb needs to be controlled independently. You need to continuously remember to blink and so on. It's an interesting concept and the game has lots of humour sprinkled in. It's 8 hours long and is fun, though it does eventually start to wear a bit thin. Thankfully, it doesn't outstay its welcome, and it's an interesting, different game to pick up. Four Horses brought us the wonderful Kid Trip and followed it up with Miles and Kilo. A retro-inspired 8-bit platformer with simple two-button mechanics, it looks fantastic in the old retro sense, sounds great, and has some nice and effective controls as well. The game is best enjoyed in auto-run mode, but you have the option to turn it off for an easier experience, which is a welcome addition. There are 36 levels to enjoy, but they are short, and this one doesn't outstay its welcome. Now this next game is pretty twisted. It's called Party Hard and you start off at a party and your goal is to massacre everyone. Yep, this is about 90% of the game and the remaining 10% is just you doing the same thing with different characters. It's gruesome, neon colored madness that's simple. The regular price is just way too high for this one, but now it's on sale, it's definitely worth a look. Rhymelands is a turn-based RPG where battles take place on a grid and are heavily dependent on rolling dice. Yes, this is one of those games that is all about RNG. It looks pretty poor and there's nothing outstanding about it in truth, but 
all of the core mechanics are here is a cheesy story, a leveling system, quests and the like. At less than one pound, it's the sort of game you might pick up to pass the time in between some chunkier games. Set on a post-human Earth, Defunct is a charming little tale about a unicycle robot aboard a massive recycling ship. Having some technical difficulties, it then goes and looks for spare parts for, and during its quest, it is accidentally thrown out with the trash and must now brave the surface in an attempt to catch up and get back home. Yes, this one is really charming and is exactly like the movie Wally. -E. It's an adorable, fast-paced and short platforming title that's worth picking up. And that's it from me today, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Do let us know what your pick is down below. Thanks for stopping by and checking this video out. Tomorrow we have two videos releasing, so be sure to stop by again, and I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care and have a great week.